Good morning. It's Monday, November the 9th, and we begin our day with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person, for the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We face the flag and we say together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated quietly, please. Good morning. Today is Monday, November the 9th. It is day three in the schedule, and we are reporting from obviously outside in front of the building, in front of the flag. There are three things that we need to think about this morning as we begin our day and our week. First of all, we heard the reading from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, which talks about building the building on top of the foundation, because today is the feast day of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran. This is the Pope's church in Rome for the Diocese of Rome. We are reminded of two things. We think of the church. We think of going to a church building. We think of going to celebrate mass. We think about the official buildings and uh, ceremonies and sacraments of the church. And that is the first thing. The second thing is the church is the people of God. The church is each one of us by our baptism. We are members of the church and we are living stones building up into the one living church. And so we think of church as the building, as the structure, as the sacraments, as the institution. We think of the church as us as well. We need both parts to be an effective church, us as living members and also the church as its institution. That's what the reading tells us today. Second of all, tomorrow, as you already know, our parent teacher student conferences. In this way, we're building up the body of the school you are encouraged and required, as if at all possible, to be with your parents when you're on uh, your Zoom calls with your teachers tomorrow. Parent-teacher conference will be between 10 and 5 tomorrow, all of which are online. Your parents can make appointments with the teachers this morning, and you should be with your parents tomorrow. The third thing, and the reason we're standing out here in front of the flag, is that Wednesday is Veterans Day. On this day in 1918, the armistice was signed to end World War I. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of the year 1918, the peace treaty was signed to end the war to end all wars. And people thought that World War, what we call World War I would be the final war because it was so bloody and so devastating. Unfortunately, we know that World War II started a mere 20 years later, and at most of the time, different parts of the world have been at war with one another. But on this day, as we think about the armistice, we think about all those men and women who have served us in the armed forces at home and abroad. Not those who have died, but those who are veterans. We think about those who have died in battle on Memorial Day. Today, we are grateful to all those who served who are veterans. And we also think about those members of our school community who are serving in the forces today. We will see more about them on Thursday. But in the meantime, we should be grateful for those who have served our country to help us maintain the freedoms that we now enjoy, both as members of society and of the church. Thanks and have a good day.
Good morning, I'm AJ. Please pay attention to the following announcements. Yes, it is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Club. There were some complications at the beginning of the year, so we may be a little late to the game. However, we are still here and still standing as strong as ever. Everything is finally set up. So don't be shy. Bust out of that cage. Take a stand and try something new. And if you're an old fan of the series, we welcome you with open arms. The club is centered around JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, a popular anime and manga series that's chock full of action, mystery, comedy, absurd powers, and an even stranger plot. We will meet every Monday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. to watch the anime together. We hold such hours so that you could come and go as you please. It could fit any schedule. We'll also hold discussions, play the video games, look at the art, make our own art, listen to the music, read the manga, and much, much more. You can also join our Discord server so you cannot miss out on the fun. Email us at teamjojoclub at gmail.com. That's teamjojoclub at gmail.com. We're looking forward to seeing you. And always remember to stand proud. Can't you hear? Hey guys, so we just finished doing community service at a horse farm. This horse farm in particular helps, ki helps kids with disabilities. And this is what community service is all about. This is what an eagle is, is being about. Get involved. Thank you, have a wonderful day.
day, and it's a great day to be an eagle.